Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're well. So the 23rd, very similar to what was going on in the next 48. Pluto in opposition to the moon in Cancer. People want to feel safe and secure and comfortable as opposed to having a big transformation go on with their career or reputation. Mercury is direct in Aquarius. Very good for communication with lots of other people and it's uh, at a trine to the north node in Gemini. So that means, you know, there might be challenging conversations, but it will become easier, smoother, more harmonious. Mars is connected to the moon, but Mars is now in Taurus, slow, being very cautious, methodical. Um, it can be the energy of strategic planning, initiating something very strategically, either with your money, your finances, or your appearance. It can be anything to do with clothing, appearance. But, um, you know, Mars in Taurus, Taurus is ruled by Venus. It can be going after pleasures, going after things with a lot of energy that bring you pleasure and good feelings because it's sextiled to the moon in Cancer. I feel like it could be a very good energy where you're going after things that make you feel good and look good and make you give you a sense of pleasure. Now you could be going after your fantasies with the Sun in Pisces with Neptune connecting in with Uranus, being an innovator, being unique, doing things that are different from everyone else, the square off with Saturn and Aquarius. Um, doing something that's unique just for you, something that really defines yourself. So I really like that energy a lot. And then Chiron here connecting into Mercury direct, healing the self, rising Aries energy today, being confident, believing in yourself. First house, you know, you were born in the first house. So you were born first. You could say, I'm number one every day. <laughs> um, there's a lot of positive things you could say about yourself with this energy of Chiron and Aries, Aries rising. You know, I will overcome. I will, I will succeed. I believe in myself. All of those real positive affirmations. And then connecting over to um, Chiron is connected straight up to Saturn and Aquarius. So... Uh, healing the wounded ego, healing the wounded self, to um, do better for yourself and the collective or maybe your career. So let's go ahead and see what the tarot cards are saying for you guys. So thank you so much for stopping in. This is the one of the bracelets I've made. It's smoky quartz with 18 karat gold and tiger's eye. So this is genuine tiger's eye and um, it has, it's for strength. Tiger's eye is for the house of Leo, but it's for strength and smoky quartz is for psychic protection. So let's see here what we have for Aries. What are we getting for Aries for today? First house of the zodiac, angels and spirits. Okay, let's see what we're getting for Aries. Seven of Cups, having a lot of options. A very complex decision could be in love could be an emotional complex decision a ten of Pentacles money wealth and abundance financial security long-term commitments is in the crossing some of you could be daydreaming chariot card the energy of forward mo uh, momentum forward movement wow so we have here a four of swords in the recent past cutting off communication resting 
withdrawing communication from someone. We have a very emotional person coming in, someone expressing how they feel. The king of emotions, the king of water. So it could be any zodiac. Of course, this is cancer energy right here. So we have here a four of pentacles, earth energy. Somebody could be saving money, but it could also be somebody, we have two fours. Somebody who doesn't want to let go. Somebody could be holding back their energy. Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody who doesn't want to let go. They're holding on tightly. We have here your energy, Six of Wands. The victory, the hero. The hero returns, overcomes the conflict, gets public recognition, accolades. Wow, your environment has a Ten of Cups, the happily ever after, the rainbow after a storm. Wow, the full completion of emotions. Okay, so we have here the Queen of Pentacles, money, wealth, abundance, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, woman is what you're wanting to be, maybe. Someone who's really practical, good with money. It's the energy of Venus. Um, it can be Capricorn, personally responsible. We have here an Eight of Cups that came out with that. Somebody could be walking away or walking towards. Let's see. What's the outcome here for Aries? Seven of Wands. So we have the energy of standing your ground, standing up for what you believe in. Okay, so we have here bravery and courage, standing your ground, Mars energy, standing up for yourself, being courageous, standing up for what you believe to be your passion. Could be like a defensive energy as well. Your energy is six of wands, which means you're feeling pretty good. There's a king of cups that comes into your awareness. What is the four of pentacles? Four of Pentacles for Aries. Two of Rods. It's feeling like you want to go in a new direction. Like you're at a crossroads. So, this could be love for many of you. With the King of Cups, the Lovers, the Two of Rods. And the Ten of Cups in your environment. What is the Seven of Wands standing up for themselves? Courageous. The Fool card. Liberated, free. Liberated and free. Um, taking a leap of faith. Trusting the universe. Having a very optimistic outlook. What is... Um, okay, so what do we have for the King of Cups? Why is this here? Okay, Three of Swords. Like I said, I think I did a reading... I took it down. This could be someone wanting to reconcile. What is the chariot? Page of air. Somebody here who's a spy, somebody who watches, someone who brings you new information. What is the, the outcome here for Aries? Wow, we got a seven of swords. Somebody who is, you don't trust a person. There's a person you, you know, feel like is being sneaky. What do we have for the lovers? Oh my goodness. These are all just coming out. So for the lovers and the two of wands, you're at a crossroads over somebody who is earth sign. Six of swords is you're blocking or you're moving on to keep peace in your life. The water here. Is showing that there was some emotional turmoil around a situation. We have here the death card. It could be Scorpio, but it means there's a finality. Something is done. We have here Queen of Wands. You standing your ground, standing tall, fire sign, court card, queen, meaning you're confident, you're in control. There is this earth energy on the bottom coming in. Wanting to reconnect with you. What is the Six of Wands? It could be an offer. 
it could be some kind of job offer as well. We have an Ace of Swords here. Truth, clarity, victory through the truth. And we have the Empress, Venus, love, abundance. The energy of Taurus, prosperity, wealth, and abundance. So you get the new information. There could be somebody who's holding you on a pedestal. Somebody wants to reconnect with you. Who is the King of Cups? Who is the King of Cups? Someone who has a lot of emotion. Page of Wands. Maybe Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And the Magician. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And Nine of Coin. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or someone who's trying to manipulate a situation. Devil on the bottom. Someone who... I mean, we have the Seven of Swords, the Devil. Still, again, it's like you're blocking this energy. You're not really embracing this energy. Now, with the Six of Swords and the Death, it could be somebody who's changed. Have here helpful person. Someone wants to help you. Think of whom that might be. Initiate contact. There is somebody coming in who is offering you love and commitment. But for some reason, you're not sure. Self-forgiveness. Let go of guilt. Remember your God's perfect child. Ooh, look at this. Now I got the treasure chest. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. With the Ten of Pentacles crossing, that can always be money. Empress card is your energy with the Six of Wands and a victory. Okay, so let's see what is... The magical spell for Aries for today. What is the magical spell? I got health again. Something to do with taking care of your health. I got the energy of trust. And then something here about magical powers. Study. And have confidence in yourself. Okay, Aries, this is your daily reading. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com, for any of my jewelry items. I hope you have a great day, Aries, and take care.